Hi guys, welcome back. So today we've got this uh, Mark 7.5 GTI TCR car in um, for a whole load of upgrades. As you can see, we've put most of them out in front of us. Um, yeah, so I mean, the customer's brief was basically, he loves this car, he wants to take it on track days, learn how to do track days, but he wants something that's obviously a little bit faster than the standard TCR. Um, something that you can learn, like build up some speed with, and that's gonna be reliable as well. Um, so these are like a, a load of upgrades to basically help him enjoy that experience. So starting off at the back, We've got the CSF uh, radiators three-piece kit. So this is the main engine water radiator, the DSG cooler, and the auxiliary engine water radiator as well. So in this car, obviously, it's got all three coolers, so we're gonna upgrade all three of those. Um, moving on to the uh, suspension. So you've got the Bilstein um, B16 EDC Damptronic kit. Um, so this integrates with the standard EDC system, so you maintain all of your electronic damper control. Um, but then obviously you get the more uh, sort of like track day and sporty road um, oriented damping with the high spring rates as well. And also allows us to adjust the coilovers so we can obviously lower the ride height and then also get the corner weight balancing correct as well. And then I don't know if you can see them here, but we've got the 034 Motorsports top mounts. So these are non-adjustable top mounts. They've still got a rubber bushing inside, but they add another one and a half degrees of negative camber. So if you don't want something that's too noisy or you, get, you don't want to be replacing bearings and things like that, like you have to with um, aftermarket um, adjustable top mounts, then these are the ones to go for on this car. Um, as well as obviously we've got a load more suspension components. So um, starting off at the front, we've got the Vertkline um, front subframe. So this replaces the factory subframe. It's obviously a lot more lightweight, um, a lot stronger, but then also it corrects the, um, the roll center of the car as well. So when you basically you lower the car on the coilovers, the roll center becomes incorrect. So um, basically this corrects that. So then when you're going around the track, you've got the optimized ro roll center all the time. Um, just behind it here, I don't know if you, you can see it, but you've got the uh, rear camber arms. So these, um, basically uh, all aluminum camber arm, you've got the spherical bushings in there as well. So you've basically got no, um, uh, no deflection from the rubber. Particularly on these cars, what we find is because the standard rubber bushings are quite compliant, when we're setting up the geometry, the um, alignment actually changes quite a lot as we're doing it. So this basically removes any of the deflections so we can get the um, geometry really sort of like bang on. And also this allows for up to minus four degrees of negative camber. Probably not gonna use that much though. Um, and then here we've got the IBAC um, front and rear adjustable anti-roll bar kit as well. Um, we've got the adjustable drop links front and rear because obviously we'll be lowering the car so we need to correct the drop links as well. Um, over to here we've got the racing line um, R600 intake kit. Um, we've also got the turbo muffler delete and the 90 degree intake elbow with the intake hose. So basically the air intake is going to be completely de-restricted on this car. Um, ready for some tuning if the customer wants to do that at a later date. Um, also got the power flex bushes up here as well. So mostly for the rear of the car, but then also for the front of the car as well. Um, we've got some of the front camber adjustment bushes as well. So we can adjust the front camber a little bit more if we need to. Um, got the racing line stage three big brake kit. So single piece forged monoblock, I uh, believe it's 355 mil on this specific kit. And um, they've also got some upgraded brake pads, um, more for sort of like track use. And at the rear, we've got the Tarox um, rear discs to complement the front brake upgrade with upgraded pads, brake lines, and obviously you can see the racing line um, two-piece fully floating brake disc as well. So basically, fr freely, fr sorry, free floating basically means that the um, disc can expand and contract separately to the bow. So you avoid any of like the, um, the cracking, any of the coning or anything like that. So you get a little bit more longevity out of the brake disc. Um, particular problem to solve on these cars is the breather system. So basically we've got the racing line um, uh, breather system replacement kit there. So it upgrades that. So basically what happens on these cars is under like heavy braking, high G braking, basically all the oil basically sits in the rocker cover. And this basically has like a baffle kit in there. So it stops that oil from basically being breathed in through the intake, um, through the turbo on the boost. So what happens is if you don't have this, using the car on track, the engine will actually use quite a lot of oil. Um, and then moving on to one of the last pieces, we've got the Team Dynamics Pro Race 1.3 wheels. So lightweight, strong, 
um, and also we've got it wrapped on Pilot 4S's as well for the customer. So yeah, I mean, we've got other upgrades coming for this car. So this is basically like the, the stage one of the upgrade, if you like. And we've also got um, upgraded seats, harnesses, roll cage, and a few other things as well. So yeah, so I hope you enjoy this video and see you soon.